Hey, welcome back to my Let's Play of Destiny of an Emperor, episode 12. I am Sunavox, and let's get started. I'm here at this section, at the beginning, because I just wanted to show this off real quick. Let's see, are we full up? Yep. Oh, and as I said, I did pick up my clubs and everything for everyone, so we can move on. But, you will always start out at, at this, after chapter 1, or ever Lube is. Since we're at uh, Chang'ang, and that's where I invite him to, this is where we will be. Just one thing to show. As I was saying, you probably didn't need to know that, but I was being thorough. It's always good to have all the information, just in case. Oh, hey, he's got a sword. Mostly full. Yes! I would like to have someone else. Okay, he'll be back here. And that guy up there, you can't talk to him. There's no way up there. To my knowledge, at least. Mm, but I guess later on we'll come back and check on him. <laughs> yeah, I could buy uh, elixirs and use them, but eh. Didn't I just fight you? Ooh. Oh, I'm okay with that. Let's see. Yeah, I already checked you out. Um, yeah, Genji. And let's take out Lebo. We could try and heal up right now, but I'd just rather... Pref I prefer doing an offense. Burn them down as quickly as possible, move on. See, that's what you get for using water. We set you on fire, and then we do heavy damage. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really care too much about Wajong. <laughs> He's just a meat shield for us. Um, yeah, I'll do it like this. <laughs> Those two should be good enough to finish him. Now just focus on Shinji. And after this, we'll just do all out. Okay. Yeah. These guys, they're not really that difficult. As you saw, <laughs> we took them out, but... If you weren't at this level, this would have... I would have gone back and uh, healed. 26, pretty good. And now where am I? Yon Castle. Yep, apparently Yon shoes a really cruel man. Just dangerous. Like, ah. But okay, let's see. Yeah, he likes the women. Why non castle? Jeeling. Yeah, according to history, Jeeling is actually his, like, chief warlord. Well, chief general. Elixir bees. They restore 500. Mm. And they might be worth getting in this area, but I'm gonna hold off. I'm not worried about it. Of course, that's ridiculous. The Emperor still lives. No, don't need any food. It's up. Then, pick up a sword or a spear or something to join us. Yes, right, flickering! But I like taking chances. Ah, weapon shot. Okay. 
Now then, he has armor here now that I am going to buy. Usually I'd wait till later, but then uh, I started checking out some uh, wiki, not wikis, walkthroughs on game packs to see what the armor values are. Padded is actually really good to get. It has a uh, high armor, it's relatively cheap. The next armor that's actually the uh, uh, technically better costs 2000 It gives you minimum uh, armor comparatively to it. Let me double check what this one is. I just remember it's like five stronger, but it's like over twice the price. Okay, just with a padded. Yeah, 45. It's a 50, but it's over twice the price. Yeah, because I could buy some headpieces. They're relatively cheap, and they give you some. And it does give you some armor, but I'm kind of lazy. Don't feel like it. Um, there are two ways we can go about this. We can go through this path, straight down here, where we can go through, uh, it's shorter, but you have better chance of getting into more fights. Or we can go the long way around, where you don't get into as many, but that's just way. And they actually give you pretty decent experience around here. I'm getting, on average, 40 just from enemy troops. No generals. Yeah, if I get into another battle just before I make it to the castle, then I will, uh, I'll heal up. Okay, just so you know, I used up a lot of tactics to heal, but for this upcoming battle we don't need it. And I did fight Lei Bo, but I've got to take out Zhou Chao. So, later on when I get a chance, I'm, uh, probably after I take on this castle, I'm going to uh, replace Hua Zhang with Lei Bo. But, let's attack. Pirates! Don't you hate that? One step before you will need to be somewhere. It's like, hi! I hate you. Because <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> Let's try this again. Attack! Hi, Jingling. I remember you. Yeah, he's uh, an upgrade version of Huazong and Limbo. And yeah, they're both pretty strong. One has more troops than the other, but that's up to you. Um, Jilin's strong. Do they have the same weapon? Yep. I'm just gonna focus on Jilin first. <laughs> yeah, we technically could be using Axis still if I didn't buy those clubs, and we'd be doing a lot less damage because they have much higher armor now. But... Ooh! Fire techniques are dropping them pretty quick. And maybe I should have just done physicals, but eh... We should be okay. Okay, we're just going to focus what I thought about doing all that, but I want to drop them as quickly as possible. Yeah, even sometimes when you're, uh, you know this game, you know what's happening, where the castles are, sometimes they can surprise you like this, from how hard they can hit. Yeah, but you can also invest in some power pills, so you can... Yeah, you missed. Um... So you just crit whenever it happens. But yeah, dropping them pretty quick. And oh, that should be good now. Yeah, back on harp. I'm glad we're right here. All right, and we leveled. <laughs> Tongzi. That is a new healing spell. It heals a lot more than cheesing, and I believe it could heal my guys for over 200. But it costs around, I think, 5 or 6, but it's well worth it with these upcoming areas because healing for 50 isn't cutting it. And yeah, Ponding Castle. So, what I'm going to do here, I am going to. Uh, 
gonna spend the night. I'm going to head back to Chainan, swap in uh, Lebo, get uh, get rid of Hazong and Zog Chow, and then on the next episode we will continue on. So thank you for joining me today on episode 12. I'm Sunavox. I'm signing off. Y'all have a nice day.